just a, a hell of a player. He's smiling, he's happy. Uh, I think that's going to become very, very contagious. You brought Kyle in um, sort of as your guy. Uh, how tough is it to... I didn't bring Kyle in as my guy. Okay, but you, okay, but you guys were close friends. Um, what was it like to have to go through this process and see him go? Yeah, I, I mean, you could probably touch him right now, honestly. That's, that's my brother. Mm -hmm. I got to tell everybody. Uh, basketball is not going to change the bond that um, we have, the bond that we both have with each other's children. It's always a family vibe with him. I can call him. I can show up at his house at any point in time. Um, basketball having to find me, having to find him. You know, Jim, you talked about needing to change the energy after a game like this. What is the first step to doing that as a leader? I don't know. I, I genuinely, I cannot give you an answer for that. I just know that we got to stick together for the good and for the bad. And I know that this will change. This too shall pass. I don't want to put it. Jimmy, with the way that you guys were switching out there tonight, I know there's been a lot of drop for you guys this season on the defensive end. Uh, did you think the help had to be there a little bit earlier? What did you think about the way that you guys executed it there? Uh, there were bad switches. The help was bad. The contest was bad. The closeouts was bad. It was just all bad. No matter if we were switching, running the drop, we weren't running nobody off the line. We weren't making a miss. So any coverage that we decided to throw out there, we didn't do it as players. I don't care what Spoke says. This ain't on him. This ain't on none of the coaches. This is on us. We don't want this out there playing. We don't want that to be supposedly. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy.